There are tons of amazing watches in the world that me and you would do crazy and reckless things just to obtain. But sometimes they don't deliver on the hype and excitement that comes with them. The promise and reputation sometimes misses the mark and leaves us with a worse taste in our mouth than sipping orange juice after brushing your teeth. In this video, I'll cover 10 watches that come with a side of disappointment. I've actually stolen this video idea off Andrew Morgan from Watchfinder. So a big shout out out to Andrew, thank you. But when Andrew made his video, he really only covered the luxury end of the market, with the likes of Omega, AP and Rolex. But disappointment exists just as much in the affordable end of the market as it does with the big boys. So today I'll be talking about some of the popular affordable icons that maybe you should think twice about buying. One of the most talked about chronographs in the online watch world is the Siegel 1963, and it certainly earns its merit, being the most affordable mechanical chronograph. However, it has one huge flaw when it comes to owning one long term. So the 1963 can be picked up from Chinese watch brand Siegel for just a couple hundred dollars, which for a manual wind chronograph makes it one of a kind. However, if you were to own the watch long enough to where it needs a service, you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. This is because the cost of service in the ST19 movement would be around twice the cost of the actual watch. Mechanical chronograph movements are notorious notoriously more difficult to service than a regular Seiko NH35 for example, with tons more parts and components to clean and oil. The watchmaker will demand a higher price for their skilled craftsmanship, leaving you with a tough choice. Should you pay double the value of the watch just for a service alone? Now one of the most legendary watches in the online watch community is the Vostok Amphibia, a super affordable dive watch with great specifications and very very unique designs, however it features one of the the most annoying things that you could possibly find on a wristwatch. Fun fact, the Vostok Amphibia was my first ever mechanical watch, and after a couple of weeks of waiting for delivery, opening up a very strange looking package and peering at the watch, I was amazed. Watching the seconds hand tick multiple times per second was incredible. At that very moment, I fell in love with mechanical watches, but not too long after I noticed a very annoying and time consuming feature on the Amphibia range. If you don't wear the watch for a while, of course you will need to change the time and date. But with the Amphibia, there is no quick set date function. So if the watch is out for let's say 14 days or more, you'll genuinely be sitting there for about 5 minutes just setting the date alone. One of the most famous watches in recent years has to be the Tissot PRX. Its super sporty looks, great specifications and affordable price tag is enough to see itself in many watch enthusiast collections. However, the mechanical version of the watch has one huge huge flaw that no one really seems to talk about. I also was fully sucked into the PRX hype train. After seeing countless wrist shots on Instagram and watching what seemed like thousands of positive reviews, I had to pick one up. Now thankfully I went for the Quartz version, because the Powermatic 80 is, well, extremely flawed. Not only does the movement inside the automatic PRX not feature an adjustment lever for fine tuning of the accuracy, but the whole heart of the PRX is in fact made from plastic. A watchmaker might be able able to service these parts, but it's certainly a lot more difficult than regular movements. It would in fact be a lot easier just to swap out the whole movement for a new one and send it back to you. I became fully aware of the power of the moon swatch when I once got asked off a young kid where I got it from. The fact that it managed to transcend age groups and reach a new demographic was great, but the watch does have a lot of flaws. I picked up my moon swatch in late 2022. At first I was over the moon. I'd managed to get my hands on the 200 $150 Speedmaster that was extremely hard to find here in England. However, after only a couple of weeks, when the honeymoon period began to crash, I was left with a taste of disappointment. It became clear to me that the moon swatch was pretty poorly built. After seeing plenty of stories and images online of broken moon swatches, things became a little clearer. The moon swatch is about as durable as a bag of Doritos. Broken pushers, scratched crystals from the moon swatches on box, and the colour rubbing off of the case. So although the moon swatch is super fun and very photogenic, your average hamster will probably outlast it. One of the best looking affordable watches in the world is without question the Orient Bambino. Its super classy design and in-house movement is enough to see watch enthusiasts fall into the Bambino trap, because one of the Bambino's best features is actually one of its biggest downsides. I too fell into the Bambino trap. I had to experience one of the most talked about watches in the online watch world, and it is an absolutely beautiful watch, don't 
don't get me wrong. And the value for money is clear to see. But one knock and you're left with a broken heart. That's because the Orient Bambino has a highly domed crystal. This wouldn't be an issue if it was sapphire, but it is not. The highly domed mineral crystal will pick up a knock. And due to the nature of its dimensions, it will leave a big scar for you to see. This happened with mine. A huge scratch across the middle of the glass. In the end, I had to sell mine because I couldn't look it in the face anymore, seeing every day what I had done to such a beautiful watch. Now, if you've ever looked at picking up a field watch, then there's about a 227% chance that you've heard of the Hamilton Khaki Mechanical. A watch dripping in that much history that you could actually take a shower in horological pleasure. Although you would definitely be showering in the enjoyment of the history of the piece, you should certainly avoid taking it in the shower with you. That's because the Khaki Mechanical comes with a pitiful 50 meters of water resistance, which on a dress watch is no issue. But when a military watch cannot survive a simple rinse in the shower, it leaves one feeling a bit confused. I thought that these watches are designed for war zones. How could it possibly not survive five minutes with a bar of soap? I understand that the watch cannot have a screw down crown because of the manual wind movement, but other watches manage to achieve 100 meters by just using gaskets. So although the watch is designed to be the ultimate rugged wrist tool, it certainly is not. Casio has some of the most critically acclaimed wristwatches on the planet, and for good reason too. They are super affordable and they offer a hell of a lot for the money. But for some reason, some of their best watches seem to be made for a family of grizzly bears. It's a shame really. Smaller and average sized wrists are often sized out by Casio with some of their offerings. For all of the features and great value for money, one would have to sacrifice comfort just to experience them. Take this particular model. It features Casio's amazing world time model. Module, 100 meters of water resistance and a 10 year battery life. However, it is seemingly made for a nine inch wrist. Forget the watch slipping under a cuff. It wouldn't allow you to reach into the fridge. This watch isn't the only casualty of this design decision. Many of the best G-Shock models are bigger than your average cheeseburger from McDonald's, leaving us average sized enthusiasts with a limited choice on the models we can wear. The homage watch is a dividing topic in the online watch community. Some love the value for money and others see them as just about legal clones of more popular watches, but there is one very real negative thing that could happen when wearing one. This is the reason why I don't personally participate in the homage watch world. I couldn't imagine the embarrassment if somebody asked, hey, is that a Rolex on your wrist? To which you have to reply, no, it's a $70 Pagani, but it certainly looks like one, doesn't it? I would personally rather save myself the shame of trying to look like I'm wearing something that I'm not, and personally go for something more original. It doesn't even have to be a completely fresh idea either, just something that isn't so close to the bone. I see and appreciate what homage watches are offering. I just wish they didn't follow Rolex around like a lost puppy wanting some milk. Now I'm sure everyone watching this video has experienced a digital Casio at one point or another. Some however are much more comfortable than others and I'm sure that some of you have shared this pain with me on this next watch. Affordable Casios are a must have in a collection. After all, they are the perfect beta watch, full of functionality and crammed with vintage charm. However, some Casio models have a civil war with you. That's because some of Casio's most popular models come with a forded stainless steel bracelet. This causes an apocalypse of arm hair when wearing the watch, and taking the watch on and off can be a painful experience, leaving you with not only an embarrassing tan line, but an area of the wrist that hair dares to grow. This can be avoided though with Casio's mesh bracelets, which might be worth buying for the model that you like. But if you stay with the factory folded bracelet, bracelet, proceed with caution. The old school Seiko 5 range is iconic, offering a hell of a lot for not really a lot of cash. Now these days the watches are actually selling for around double what they used to about five years ago, so it makes the next slice of disappointment an even bigger consideration. The old school Seiko 5 range almost exclusively used the legendary Seiko 7S26 in-house automatic movement. Although this movement is a workhorse and has a top tier status, it comes with its downside. The movement that is found inside of the discontinued 5 range is a bit of a dinosaur in comparison with modern movements. This is because the watch doesn't feature hacking or hand winding, so you'll have to give your watch a shake to wake it up from sleeping, then have to accept that you'll never get the time bang on to the second. I like to set my watch to perfect time, firstly so I can track accuracy, but also because I'm a sweaty watch nerd. But you'll have to live with the fact that your watch could be off by up to 30 seconds every single day. Be sure to check out the TopTierTicker.com official watch 
merch store for the very best in affordable pre-owned and discontinued watches. The link is in the description. If you liked this video and wanted to learn about some underrated watch brands, be sure to watch my video here on screen on 10 American watch brands that you should know.